Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my review of the AEW Amateur Entertainment Wrestling. Now, let's begin with this disclaimer. I used to be a member of the AEW before they were on YouTube, and a lot of the members of the AEW now are good friends of mine. I'm only telling you this because uh, I want you to know where I'm coming from, and if I say, hey, these guys are the best in the world, and then you find out that I am good friends with them, it kind of a bit... Mm, I can understand that, but I'm going to try and be as impartial as I can be, but with the knowledge of where they came from. Now, the main thing that appears on the YouTube channel is their promos for the events that they have, and the events themselves. Now, let's start with the promos. The promos have advanced dramatically. Back in my day, we used to just stand in the middle of the garden with a plastic bottle and just fuck about. Where now they're a bit more serious. That being said, now they're trying to be a bit more serious. So, what I would say to them is it appears that when they're speaking their promos, they're very scripted. I, I just put bullet points on and maybe edit it about and stuff to try and get the right thing, but I wouldn't script them point by point. Also, they need to be a bit more comfortable with their promo because right now they all seem a bit nervous, some more than others. But I definitely like that not everyone's promo style is exactly the same. Yes, it's usually them talking to an iPhone or whatever their phones are. But you've got Sins, which is quite a creepy vibe. And then you've got uh, Leo Jackson's rap. And Benji's uh, as babyface as you can be. So I like the very, very different styles. I just think all of you need to practice a bit more and get a bit more confidence. I, I feel like if you look back at my YouTube videos, if you watch my first one, I was petrified. But as I practiced and got more out, I feel like now I'm a bit more confident. And I think the same thing should be done with your promos. Next, I'm going to move on to the commentary of the events. Now with the commentary, I feel it would work a lot better if at least one of you, it was a heel. My suggestion is Stuart, because he goes a little bit heel when the bruise is on, and... I think it works. I think if you use that and push that along everybody and just back the heels up and then you had Jamie on the other side backing the uh, baby faces and then just constantly go on at each other, I think that would be a bit more entertaining. Just put a little bit more spice into it. But other than that, the uh, commentary is very good. I just think it needs a little bit more spice. Now I'm going to move on to the referees. When you're refereeing a match, the very most important thing you need to focus on is the shoulders of the competitors. You need to be looking at the shoulders. When they're pinned to the ground, you need to be right at the very shoulders looking for the kick out. If you're by the feet, you can't see the shoulders. You need to be right there at the shoulders. Even if it means it takes you a second longer to jump around, you need to position yourself around them so you don't need that second. But if you need to take that second, you take that second. You need to be on the shoulders. Right, that's that rant done. And another thing I've noticed, there's a few of the new guys that I've seen and they've come up for one event and then they kind of disappear. I feel that if you really want to make a good crack at this and uh, make the AAW a proper thing, the part-timers really have to make a bit more of a commitment. The new guys, or whatever you want to call them, come a bit more often practice, train, do whatever, just you need to be at the events because otherwise if you put them on one week and say hey this guy's a big deal and then the next week is they're not there it's kind of yeah I remember that frustration because it was the same thing back when I was there and I've talked to a few of the guys and they're getting the same frustration the way I would do it is I would say right let's train you for a bit like train you for a, f a few weeks and if they turn up to all training then maybe put them on the show because if you put them on the show straight away then they don't turn up then there's no point in putting them on the show and it's just well what happened to this guy? he didn't turn up and now the final thing I said to myself when I was decided to make this video to try and help promote the AEW and I do think that if you're not a member of the AW, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. But I did say that I wasn't going to call anyone out. But there's something that's driving me absolutely crazy. 
Benji, you bloody better be listening to this because I'm saying right now, change the name of your damn finisher. It is not a freaking bear hug, it is a full Nelson. I've yelled at you, I've yelled at Jamie. Change the bloody name of the finisher, for damn sake. I like the fact that you've taken the name that I've given to your finisher and you've gone with it. But I gave you the name back when it was a bear hug. It's not a bear hug anymore. Change the name name. I recommend to you to change it to the Benji Brace if you really like the alliteration. But fucking nope, it's not a bear hug. You just seem like an idiot. And when the commentators say it, it makes them seem like idiots. Just change it. Okay. Now I've uh, gone through all the things, ways that the AEW can improve. But that doesn't mean that they're rubbish. I want to point out that they are very good. Brilliant at what they're doing. You've got to subscribe to their channel because they need help. And uh, they've come such a long way. Because when I was doing it, it was just four chairs in a garden. And we used, used to use whatever we could get our hands on. And it wasn't very planned sort of thing. It wasn't a lot of focus done. It was just a group of guys fucking about in the back garden. Now they've put a lot more effort into it. The editing and the recording all of them rather than just highlights. And it is a massive improvement. Is it the WWE in that? But they're just starting out and they need more subscribers so please subscribe to them because it will help them out a hell of a lot and while you're at it you might as well subscribe to this channel as well now if you like this review like favorite subscribe come on you know what to do uh, comment below if you have any suggestions for the AW of how they can improve because I know that they will be reading this at least a few of the guys will be I am the food thanks for listening